Hey, everybody. Good morning. Uh, welcome to my webinar, Is Weebly For You? I hope you can hear me and see me. I have the chat box open, so I just asked if you can hear me okay, and if anyone's out there, please let me know. Um, anyway, I'm doing this today because I get a lot of questions from people wondering about Weebly. And I became what's called a Weebly ambassador last year. And it's been a really kind of amazing experience. I've been privy to a lot of kind of the back information about Weebly. I've been able to give them a lot of input. And as you know, I've been talking about Weebly for years now. <laughs> it's my favorite web builder. So what I'm gonna do today is I am going to go over just some kind of general Weebly things. Then I'm gonna show you the back end of my Weebly website, and then I'm gonna start creating a website. And the whole purpose today is to have you look at Weebly, decide if you think it's something you could do. Maybe you have a family member that could do it for you, but I really do believe it's a great option for artists to create a website. So I'm very excited, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to one of my screenshots here. And here we are. Okay, so um, as I mentioned, Weebly is something that I discovered. What happened is I had my website on iWeb and Apple announced that they were discontinuing iWeb. So fortunately they kept it around for a few years. So I was able to uh, kind of limp along <laughs> their service, but I looked for a new website builder and I looked at a lot, a lot of them, Squarespace, Wix, I mean, so many of them. And Weebly was the one that stuck out in my mind because I thought it was super easy. And there's really four reasons why I like it. The first is getting started is really simple. It's very intuitive. There's no coding, nothing like that. Um, everything you design is going to look good on your website, on a uh, phone, on an iPad or a tablet. And uh, it's just, it's really easy. It's kind of this drag and drop philosophy. The second thing is um, you create an online store, which is so important for all artists because the whole point of having a website is giving all of your followers a place to go and see your art and of course purchase it. I love the fact that you can uh, use Weebly on the go. I've written blog posts in airports on my iPhone. I check my stats. I respond to comments. I mean, it's really, really been great. And I love that flexibility because my life sometimes is a little bit crazy. And the other thing is you get help when you need it. So it's wonderful that you can call, use their chat box or email anytime you need help. Okay, so I've designed a lot of websites uh, using Weebly. These are the four main ones that I use. SayToStudio.com, of course, is my major website, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But I also have my online studio website, which is where I do my online classes. My abstract website, it's called Leslie'sAbstracts.Weebly.com, and that's just the one that I used for my webinars class. It's a separate um, website that I created. And then we have one for our beach house, which is kind of fun. Okay, so there's three steps you have to go through when you start building a website. And the first question that's gonna come up is, are you building a website, a blog, or a store? And quite frankly, I think for all of us, the answer is all three. So you're gonna get all these choices here of what you want to um, build. And ideally, I think it's really, really important that you can answer business. So you can see business here on the screen and you're gonna click that. We'll do this in a second, just so you know. Then you get to choose a theme. And this is my favorite part because Weebly has designed some really gorgeous themes. And they're not just themes for the home page. All of them have three, four, five subsequent pages. So not only can you create your own, but why not find one that you like and use that kind of as a template and start from there. So I think that makes it really easy. And then the third thing is, you need to be able to save your website somewhere. There's three options here. I don't want you to connect a domain you already own. You don't wanna do that until you're done. You don't wanna register a new domain because I don't think you need to spend the money yet. What you wanna do is use a subdomain of weebly.com. And you can just type in Leslie Seda and then it'll come up lesliesada.weebly.com. That's what I did, it's already been taken but it'll tell you if it's available and it's free. And it's just a website you can have temporarily under that domain while you're building it. Then when you're done, 
you can go in and register a new domain and rename the one you've built or you can connect it to a domain that you've already owned that you already own but don't don't spend extra money don't get complex just create any subdomain of weebly because it's free and you know how i love that <laughs> so once you've done those three things which you're going to see in a minute we start building the site and um, you just click the edit site button and here is kind of what the inside of Weebly looks like. All of these things on the left hand side are called elements and you can see that we've got title, we've got text, image, and all you're going to do is drag in anytime you want to add one of those and I will show you this so don't panic. Then you've got your, um, your pages here and it's just it's so nice and so wonderful that it's so easy so I can't wait to show this to you. Then um, you're going to create pages in your website and you've got some options here. It's actually been simplified a bit since this slide was made, but there is a standard page, a blog page, and um, you'll see how we do that shortly. And then you publish your site. Now, the thing that's kind of cool about Weebly is it saves your site as you go along. So if you forget to publish, if there's a power outage, if your battery runs out, everything is saved with one exception. If you're in the middle of writing a blog post, you have to save your blog post, but everything else will automatically be saved. Now, I do click publish site a lot, just because I want to, <laughs> and I want to be able to go into the internet and see how the site looks. And the only way you can do that, obviously, if you've, is if you've published it. So I will also show you how to do that. Now, the last question that I'm sure you're all asking is what about the pricing for all of this? And there, these are kind of the three main plans. There is a free plan, but of course it's pretty limiting. And this program is so good, I really do think you need to spend some money on this. Um, $12 a month or $25 a month is certainly reasonable. The main difference between the pro and the business plan is the fact that the pro plan only allows you to have 25 items in your store. That might be enough for you. 25 paintings is quite a bit. And you can start with the pro plan and if you decide you want more items in your store you can just upgrade which is real simple i actually use the business plan the performance plan which certainly gets more pricey um, but it's something i need to do and i'll tell you why it includes a um, an item called promote and promote is just like mailchimp or constant contact and when i look at how much i'm spending on a monthly basis for that it makes sense for me to upgrade so i will definitely do that <laughs> Just to give you an idea. So um, back to, hello, it's me again. And um, I am now going to actually go into Weebly and show you how to build this um, site, which is actually pretty unbelievable. So let me see. Here we go. All right, so here is my Weebly dashboard. Now, um, your analytics are right here on the front. So I've had 9,200 unique visitors this week and 33,000 page views this week, which I'm very happy about. But I have a lot of websites, and if I click this arrow right here, it shows all my different websites. Now, in a minute, I'm going to click on here, add a website. But here you can see, and I'm just here on one page, and it's a great place for me, me to be able to... Um, have the ability to edit all my sites but let's just go into the the weebly builder of my website and i'll show you what it looks like so you've probably seen my website and here i am in the weebly builder now here's all those things i told you about that are called elements so if i wanted to add text i would just drag this in here and put this drop this box in and it would give me a place to put text i'll show you that in a minute but i obviously don't want to do it on my home page these are all the pages I've created, and some of them have drop-down pages, but let me just show you how many pages I've built in my site, and you're gonna laugh. Okay, I've got all of these pages. I've got pages for my workshops. I've got my webinars class. So my webinars class is a class that teaches you from A to Z how to build an art website. It is, um, well, I'll show you. Let me see here. Okay, this is the, inside of the webinars class and there are 20 different classes and each class has a um a bunch of videos and i'll show you so for example let's go to class number five building your pages so this is what the class looks like 
And then here's a video here. Um, and let me show you another one. Here's the class here. There's a video. There's another video. There's another video. So there's probably, I don't know, 75, 60 videos total um, in the class. But you can just kind of go down. And um, if you're interested, I'll talk about that later. But anyway, here's all the different options, all the different pages that I've created. And it's just the most amazing program. I love it. So let's go ahead and X out of this. And it's going to take me back to my dashboard and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to add a site. So this is where you would start. And um, I sent you all a link in the um, email. And if you want, you can just click on that to, to sign up for Weebly. But don't don't pay anything in the beginning. I want you to try this, have fun and then upgrade because I do really believe um, that it's that it's a great option for everybody. Okay, so remember I told you they're gonna ask you what kind of theme you want? Now, an online store is really based solely toward a store, but we're a business. So let's click on business and look at these really great options here. Now what they allow you to do is you can pick them, see how, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this one down here. I have no idea why. This is the theme preview. And they've built five pages. We've got a home page, and you can go in here and change everything, which I'm going to do. Then we have services. This is a page that I could talk about maybe my workshops, the about page, which is where you talk all about you and your art. News. Now, this page, ah, this is actually set up as a blog, which is great. And I would change that to blog, and I'll show you how to do that. And then there's a contact page. So if you like this, template, you can start editing and it's creating the site. Okay. So remember I told you that this is going to come up um, and I don't want you to use a domain yet. I don't want you to register for one yet. I want you to just create something. So I'm going to do Leslie and Bird. And look, it's available. If I just tried to do Leslie, uh, it's already taken. Leslie Ann Bird is my birth name. Okay, so I'm going to continue. So now I've got my own web address. And when I save this, it'll save to the web. But since there's over a billion websites, I don't have to worry about anyone finding it. <laughs> okay, so here we have, as I mentioned here, all of these little elements. And these elements are the things you drag in. And I'm not going to use those quite yet because I'm going to make some changes here. Now across the top are the stages that you're in for building your website. So we're on the build page right now. Let me show you the pages page. Now they've already created these five pages for us here, which you can see are here. So let's change those. I like home services. Nah, I don't like that. So I could delete it if I wanted, but I think what I'm going to do is change it. And I'm going to call this paintings. And watch what happens right here to the services. Now I have a blank page where I can do my paintings. Okay. Now, I like the about. News is that page, if you remember, that they, um, it's a blog. So I'm going to change that one and I'm going to go here and delete that and call it blog. So now I have home paintings about blog and contact, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's go back to the home page. Now, right here is the title and I have two options for my title. You can turn it off if you want, but I, I want to have something here. I can have text or I can have a logo. If I want to have text, I can just type in Leslie Seda, whoops, fine art, which is okay. But you know, I think I want to use my logo because I have a logo. So if I go here and click on logo, it says I can upload a photo from my computer. So down here in my finder, I have some folders here and website info and photos, I believe is where my logo is. There it is right here. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to drag it in here and voila. See how great that looks? Okay. 
think I obviously need to change this page because <laughs> the photo doesn't make any sense. So if I just click on it, ah, edit background. I'm going to click edit background and I'm going to edit the image. There's an option here to change the color or to change it to a video, but I'm just going to edit the image and I'm going to replace it. Once again, I can drag a photo in here. So let me go back to my photos and I'm going to go to my paintings page and I'm going to pick one of these photos. One of the things that's super important, and I'm going to drag it in, and you'll learn this in, if you take my webinars class, is that you need to um, be really organized. So the first thing I have you do is organize the photos you need um, and the data that you need for your website, because that does take some time. <clears throat> but see down here, it's uploading right here, and it's showing how um, long it takes to upload my photo, which is just a little while. And um, our internet's been kind of wonky. Ah, there. So look, now I have a new page. Now, th what's so wild is this has taken about two minutes, and we're already this far. Now, this right here, this copy, I think um, we probably, oh, wait, I'm going to save my image first up here. Okay, so I'm going to change this because I think the copy doesn't work, and I'm just going to put Leslie Saida um, Abstract Art, and then I'll just click outside of it. And then see this little um, button that they have in here? I like that. And they, the fact that they put that in there in this template I'm going to use, so I'm going to click on it. But I want to change the button text. And I'm going to change it to view my paintings. And if I go back, look, it changed. OK, so let me, I'm going to, so this is right now centered. I'm going to make this flush right. And this here is centered, and I'm going to make it flush right. And then I'm going to change the color of this because I think it doesn't, I think it's too light. You can't see it. So if I highlight it, this drop down menu comes here and it says change color. So I think that looks okay. You could also, when you're changing the color, pick one of like a million colors. Okay, this little thing here, I'm just going to get rid of it. It's part of the template, and I'm going to click on there, and I'm going to delete it. Okay, look at that. That's amazing. So I've already created my home page. Now, if I want, I can publish it here, continue, and it's publishing it. So if I want to go to this link and I can just click on it, you'll find this website. So technically, you created a website in five minutes. Now, there's a lot more work that has to happen here, obviously. Um, I need to go down here and add some more photos. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to click on the photo. And I'm going to replace the image. So it says upload a photo from your computer. So I'm going to click on here. I've got some paintings photos, which I think would be wise to use. And a lot of Project Red my stuff in here from the last 30 and 30 I did. But how about if I click on this one and drag it over? And it's replacing this image right now. And you can see it shows you how long it takes to upload it. It doesn't take too long. Almost done. And you have to wait till it's done to start the next one, which is kind of important. Ah, and it's just changed. So let me change this one now. Replace image. I'll go back to the file here, um, to paintings, and it's terrible. I don't remember the names of my paintings, so I, I really need to look at um, the pictures. <laughs> Shame on me. And once again, it's updating it here. Now, this page obviously had a lot of things already set up, and all we did was replace it. The next page I set up, I'm going to um, show you how to kind of start from scratch. Okay, so we've got this done, which I actually really like this. Now, this right here, this little button, right now it doesn't link to anything. So if I click on it, it says link. So I'm going to go to link, and 
I have a choice here where I, if I click on website URL, I could send it to any website anywhere on the World Wide Web. <laughs> but I can also click it to one of my own pages. So if I click standard page, the, pa the pages that I have here on my website are all here. And I, if it's going to be view my paintings, there's a very good chance I want to link it to my paintings page. So I'll click on that. And then I like the option of open a new window. And what that means is when someone clicks on this button, view my paintings, what it means is that they will actually um, have the ability to open a new window. And so instead of taking you out of my website just to this spot, um, I like to open a new window. And I can just go back. And so now if someone clicks on this, it'll take them to my paintings page. So it's pretty cool. The next step I would do is obviously go in and write some new copy, um, add some type here. Um, and it just, that, that's, to be perfectly honest, what takes the most time, <laughs> just so you know. And then in this area here, I, could, I would change this large photo. Um, and there are so many things you can do. But if I'm going to change this, I want to show you something really cool. So I'm going to edit the background. And let me show you what you can do you can use a video. And if I want to add a video, they give you some videos to use. So let's just say this was my beach house page. I could select this video here and save it. And did you see it moving? When I publish this and go back to it, it actually, the waves will be moving the entire time, which is so cool. So I'm actually using that for um, my new page on my whenever I teach something at the beach house. So anyway, it's very cool. We're in the web builder right now, so it doesn't show it um, the way it's moving. But when you go into it from um, the web, you'll see. And you might go to the site and check it out. OK, then there's another thing here we can add. So there's just a lot of opportunities as this scrolls down to put a lot of great information. OK, so that was the home page. Let's go to another page. Let's go to the about page. Ah, it's empty. Perfect. So I want to obviously put a photo in here. So I'm going to click on build because right now we're on pages. It's going to keep me here. I'm going to click on build and I want to drag in. See, I'm dragging in an image and see that blue line. The blue line tells me where the image is going to go. So it's going to go below the blue line. So I have an image that I can upload, but I don't want an image that shape. So I'm also going to put some text in to the right side of this. And I'm trying to get the blue line here, there. So now I have a box that takes an image and a box that takes um, some copy. So if I click on this, I think I have an image of me in here somewhere. <clears throat> Let me see. Ah, there it is. So I'll just drag that over here. And while it's uploading, ah, there I am. So and I, I can change the size of this if I want by just clicking on it and making it smaller. And then when I go here, if I click on it, I can say, welcome to my website. Um, da, 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 da. And it can keep going and going and going. Now, let's say I wanted to put something else on here. Let's say I wanted to include, and I'm just playing to show you all the options. Let's say I wanted to put a gallery in here. So I'm going to put it down here. Now, I could put it, see the blue line is only on half of the pay, half of the, um, the box. That's because if I wanted to, I could put the gallery just below my photo. But I want this gallery to go all the way. So if I move it here, now the blue line goes all the way across. And I have a gallery. So let me show you how I do that. So upload gallery photos from your computer. So I'm going to go to here and I'm going to pick, let's say, oh wait, let me go to my paintings. Okay, so if I, I'm going to pick maybe four, one, two, three, four paintings. So I'm going to click open. And now it's going to upload, as you can see down here. And that's because I'm doing a gallery. And a gal what a gallery means is it's multiple images. And um, it's kind of cool how it does this. So I'll take a sip of my coffee while it's uploading. 
And it's still doing it. Two photos are uploaded. It will soon be three. Ah, now it looks kind of funny the way it's got three and one, and that's because this is set up that way. So if I click on the, the box where my gallery is, see how it says number of columns and it has three? If I click that, look, it's four. It's so amazing what you can do. You can do change the spacing. You can put a caption on each one of these. Um, you can do an advanced feature, which is um, borders. I mean, a lot of things. You can, um, it's just so cool. So anyway, now I have a little gallery in here. So let's see what our other options are. You can do a slideshow. And a slideshow is where, I'll show you. I'll put it down below here. Now you get to pick the slideshow style that you want. This is a great thing for a home page. Um, so if you do this kind of slideshow, which I'll do, well, let's do this one. Let's con click continue. Okay, so I've got to upload some photos from my computer again, and I'll just do like three. But a slideshow looks really great on your home page because it enables you. I'm only going to do three. And it's, well, it's uploading. Um, a slideshow is great because it's a way on your home page to have one picture showing, but enable the viewer to just click on the sidebar and see more than one. And it gives you a nice clean look, um, which I like. So anyway, these are uploading for a second. Hopefully by now you can see that this is a um, pretty good and pretty easy plan. I, um, I, I would say since I started with Weebly, they've probably been through three updates. They did a huge update um, in September, right in the middle of when I was creating the webinars class. And unfortunately for me, but fortunately for all of you, I had to redo the entire class because it was such a major update that everything changed, which is fine because it's, um, it's now completely up to date. I will say they've had a couple of minor changes since then, but... Um, minor enough that it doesn't affect the class at all. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what it's doing here. I think it's taking a little while. Maybe, yeah. Oh, I went out of it. Oh, well, well, I'm, I'm not gonna take the time to go into it, but okay, let me show you this option. It's a map. Now, when would you use a map? Well, I have a map on my classes, believe it or not, because a map is so cool. So you can put an address here. So let's say I was going to do a class in Ventura. I'll just do Ventura, California. Okay, you can zoom down, you can determine the width and the height, the positioning. Um, and what's so great about this is this map is something, if you're doing workshops in various places, if you have an art show, you can put the um, address in of where your art show is going to be, and you can feature a map, which is really, really cool. Um, okay, they have what's called a contact form. You can put a contact form in here. I'm just lining these off here. I'll put it on the side of this to show you how it works. And here's a contact form, and you can ask people to join my mailing list. And you can ask for, it kind of already sets this up, but you can go to form options and you can, um, you can write a confirmation message that says something like, thank you, your information has been submitted, but you can change this in any way that you want. And it's just a nice way to have a form and it's a great way to capture email addresses if you want. So there's my contact form. There's a newsletter form. If you want to collect addresses for a newsletter. And then you can add a button. And if you remember, we have a button on the front of our website. But let me just show you how that works. Ah, there it is. It's kind of ugly, though. So I'm going to click on it. <laughs> so the button text 
I'm going to change. I'm going to say shop here. And it changes it. Button style. This is key. Now, because I have picked a certain theme, it gives me an option here for these colors, just so you know. You can link it as I did before in your in spacing, but it's really cool. Now, see this little box right here? On all of these elements, there's a little box. I can take that box and by doing this, I can move anything anywhere. So if I wanna put my mailing list down here, I can do that. It just made my map bigger. I want to move my mailing list back to over here. See that blue line? There it goes. So I have to say, this is so cool. Okay, um, now, depending upon the plan you have, is going to give you different elements here. Um, let's see. Um, there's, you know, I can add an HD video, I can add a document, I can add a YouTube. I mean, there's a lot of things that you can do. And of course, when you get into products and categories, um, that's when you do your store. So let me go back to the home page. And here we are, which I like. Let me go to theme. Okay, now there's, for every template, there's different colors. And I like the colors because they happen to go with my art style, but let's say I wanted to change it to orange. So this theme has a black background and the buttons are orange, which I do not like. But let's just try red. Red, you've got a white background with red buttons. Doesn't look good. But I just want to show you that there's a lot of options here within a template that you can make a change. I'm guessing this one probably would look the best, but I don't like the dark here. I'm a real believer on having everything as light as possible. So I'm going to go back to this. Now, there's all these fonts that have already been decided here. You can change the fonts. So you can go to each font. So let's say you want to change the font of the navigation menu, and that's this right here. You just click on it, and this is what it, it's the default, the, def, the default is, Montserrat, but look, at, if I click down here, Look at how many options you have. There are so many options of fonts. I seriously doubt. And I, there may be a way to upload a specific font if you want it, but I haven't done it, so I'm not going to tell you how to do it. Um, but there's really a lot of options. And they're categorized, which is kind of cool. You want to be careful. You don't want to pick anything too funky because you want to make sure it's a font that will work on... Um, every browser that somebody may use. So look at these handwritten fonts. This is crazy. They have a lot of fonts. So anyway, I'm not going to change any, but I just want you to know that that's an option. Now, theme options. Let's say um, you can change the full width, um, which I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. But anyway, so it's just, it's kind of cool. I can change the theme. It's not going to mess up your site. So here's all the different theme options. So let's just say I like this one and I want to do preview. So I'm going to click on preview. And this is the different theme. And it's got a little kind of a similar layout, but a little bit different. It's got different types, um, fonts. Remember those pictures that I did now? If I like, oh, and look, the waves are working. So now you can see how that works. Sorry, I got I got excited. <laughs> um, but let's say you don't want to, if you want to use it, you can choose it and it'll change it. But let's just cancel. Let's try to preview this one. I don't think I like it, but we'll see. They're all kind of similar. Cancel. Let me find one that this one is a little bit different. So let's preview this one. Oh yeah, so it's got kind of got that color thing going on on top of it. Um, I don't like it. I don't like the fonts. I think it's, I don't know, too generic looking. But this one we can try <clears throat> and we'll preview it. Huh, that's kind of cool. I'd go back and make some changes, but that is kind of cool. So let's cancel that, go back to gallery. 
Um, let's try this one. This one makes your picture the whole um, homepage. So let's click on preview. That's kind of cool. All right, let's try another one. That one looks very similar. How about this one? Oops, I, there's two ways to do it. You can click on the picture or you can click on preview. And I'm gonna go back and click on preview. Pretty amazing. Oh, and then the menu, that's kind of cool. The menu at the top goes away when you scroll down. And then this doesn't, this has one of those menu bars that you have to click on it to see. I don't like that as much. I like it when the um, titles of the pages are all there. So I'm gonna cancel this one. And let's try this one here. Yeah, this also, um, pretty cool. So I think, I kind of like the one we have. Except, wait, no, I think this was the one I like. Let me just go back and see. Preview. No, I didn't like that one. Sadly, I don't even remember. So, oh, by the way, that was the business page. You can also change to other themes like portfolio themes. Now, portfolio is kind of a place where you're showing lots of images, so that might work. So let's just try this one and see what happens. Uh, I kept my big page, which is great. But this is a different look here, as you can see. So anyway, it's just nice that you can have a completely done website and go in and change your theme. It's You should know that it, there are some things that may not carry over. So I would change your theme, um, I think, in the beginning. Um, but it's still easy to do. So I'm going to close this. So that was theme up here. So we've looked at the build page, which is how you drag and add all these things. We've looked at the pages page. And here I just have five pages. The theme page I just went over with you. Then there's the store page. And this is what I'm not going to do because this takes forever. <laughs> then it would take about three hours. And there's I think there's probably four pages um, in my webinars class that go into the details. But what's so cool about it is you set up your store, um, you add pro, you know, a product, and then you can start accepting payment, payments, and it's all done through PayPal. They have some other options like Stripe, but I love PayPal, and I think it's super safe, which is great. Um, within your um, store, you can set up coupons. And I actually set up a coupon for all of you. If any of you want to take the webinars class, there's a coupon co code called January, and it's 25% off until the 15th of this month. So um, if you want to look at that, just go to my website and click on webinars and you'll see all the information about the class. Um, but you, there's so many things. If you're in the, um, the promote program, which I have not upgraded to yet, but if you are in that program, there is an option where if someone is, has something in their shopping cart and um, they leave, you actually get that data and you can send them information and prompt them to actually make a purchase, which is pretty cool. So this is where you set up your entire store. And, and I will um, show you on the webinars website how I did that. Okay, then there's apps. There's a lot of apps that are external options that you could add to Weebly to use to enhance what you're doing, which is pretty cool. Um, then there's the settings page. And this is, remember that URL, and if you want to change it, you can change it. Um, the site title, you can change. The type, um, the category that you have, you can change it. And the business, I'm going to change that. The favicon is this little tiny thing up here that shows up when you go to your website. And that can also be changed, um, which I have my logo online. You can password protect your entire site, which I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. If you want to just create a site for another purpose, you can password protect it. Um, you can share it on Facebook. So every time you make a change, it comes up on Facebook. Um, Simple Chat is a service that I'll show you on my website. And it's just, there's a lot of 
you know, options of things you can do here. You can um, update for your search engine optimization. You can add members. Um, on your blog, you can set um, some settings. And it's really funny. I did this, thank heavens, for the 30 and 30 blog. If I had 10 posts per page, it would take forever to load because I've got five or 600 pictures on each of my blog posts with all the participants in the 30 and 30. So I changed the number of posts that come up per page are only two. So the site doesn't take very long to, um, to load, which is great. Um, you can control comments on your blog, whether you want to be able to approve them before they appear on your blog. I mean, there's so many options of what you can do, which is really cool. So, and then there's the help section and the support center. I won't go into it now, but they have some really cool videos on Weebly called how they do that. And if you search something, there's probably a video on it and it shows you everything, um, which is wonderful. So anyway, I'm going to, let me just publish this from where I'm at. And then I'm going to actually exit out of this and go back to my dashboard and I'm going to go out of this page and go to, if I can find it, the page I created for the Weebly class. It's called Leslie Seda Abstract Art. Okay. So this is the site that I created in the Weebly class. And I just wanted to show it to you because, um, if I go to pages, these are the pages that I created for the class, and I want to share these with you. The paintings page has a store in it, and um, I show you how to do all this, and you can shop, and when you click on it, it takes you to more information, more photos, and it enables you, obviously, to buy them. I created a blog um, here, and I just did one dummy. <laughs> um, blog post, which is here. This is the about me page, same photo, but it actually has copy that I used. I have a page called how to buy a painting that I show you how to create. And then I've got more here. I created a workshop page with um, pictures and my workshops. And then I have a, I created one sub page, if you will, which is here that talks about the workshop in Ventura. Events. And I just made a pretend event that I was having an art sale. So this is the site that I created. And it's um, pretty cool, I have to say, <laughs> if I don't mind saying myself. And then there was one more thing I was going to show you on my website. And let's see if I can remember what it is. <clears throat> this is my main website here. I have a lookbook, which is a gallery that I showed you how to set up with all these pictures of my art in rooms, which I do on Photoshop if you're curious. Um, I have an abstract oil paintings. Oh, you know how I've got these pop up? Now this is artists helping artists. I've got these pop-ups that come on the um, menu. Let me show how you do that. Okay, let's go to the page artists helping artists. Here it is. See how the pages here and see how these pages are indented? I can move this back here. Well, maybe. Hmm. Well, anyway, by indenting, you can indent I could indent online classes by moving it over here, but I'm not going to do that. But by indenting these means this is the main um, uh, menu item up here, artists helping artists. And then the three things that are below it are all indented here. And that's why they pop up like that, which is kind of cool. Um, here's my abstract painting page. I have some sub um buttons here that anyone can pick to, to look at a painting by size and then here's each of my products which i love if i click on this one i've actually set this up that has um 
the painting here, and then it says some suggestions of things you might also like, which are available, which is kind of cool. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Okay, then I have oil paintings in here. I still do paint those, and I'm just noticing that some of these sold at Christmas, and I can't believe I haven't updated them. Then I have my blog. And here is my blog. And this is the old day four post. Um, I've got categories here. I've got some links here. And um, there are ways for me to make a tiny bit of money. <laughs> it's tiny, unfortunately, <laughs> but they're on there. Um, but here's my, and if I, I go here, I just click on here for a new post and I can create a new post. If I was really organized, you'd see on here that I had like five posts already scheduled to go out because you can do a blog post and schedule it to um, appear and publish at whatever time you want. And I love that, but I'm not ahead of time. This, this holiday's kind of set me back, but hopefully this weekend I'll get ahead on some of these 30 and 30 ones. I have my about me page, which I showed you. And then my 2017 workshop page will come up next week. Um, but here's all my workshops from last year. The webinars page I told you about. Um, and it's $199 for the whole class. You have access to it forever um, until it, the, you know, maybe a couple years, the technology may become outdated. But as I mentioned, there's that January coupon code um, to save 20%. Um, here's the actual course, which if you have signed up for the course, you'll be able to log in right here. Here's the artist helping artists page, which is actually a blog. And that was last week's post that I created for the show. Then I have the 30 and 30 page, which is all about this year's challenge. If you haven't seen the map, this map, um, has all of the participants and it's so cool when you go in here and you see how many people we have in countries all over the world but anyway um, i created links with little buttons here here's one where you can sign up for the challenge and here's where you go to post your daily painting but where you really go to post your daily painting is on the blog that's a sub page of this and this is my blog for the 30 and 30. so here's today's painting for day four um, now you can't see the links in here because I'm not, I'm on the builder side of it, but there's, um, like 400 people who've added their posts already here and you can go to my website and click on 30 and 30 blog and click on that and actually see that. Then this is, um, a link here to another website I've set up. So see how it says external link. I set that up that way. Here's a page on my marketing consultations, which I have three still to do this week. I have a page on how to buy a painting. Here's another external link on buying my prints, which is which takes you out to a website on ImageKind where you can buy prints of my art. I have merchandise, my marketing boot camp, which I'm announcing also um, next week. I have a lot of them scheduled in some really cool places. Uh, then I have a page for interior designers and the page about this webinar, holiday gift guide, which I put in here. And there's all of the items, which is kind of fun. And back to home. So I think that is a pretty good overview of um, my site and I really just hope that it answered a lot of questions that you may have for um, using Weebly and um, I would say give it a try and if you think it's too much for you maybe you know someone that can try it but I absolutely love Weebly and think it's a great easy way to do it so thank you for joining me today if you have any questions let me know but um, happy January 2017 and here's to a great year